Okay, good morning. Good morning to everyone. Or should I say good rising? Because we are not in mourning. Good rising to all of my Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters. Happy second day of the week. Shalom to all of you. And I want to come to y'all today and just talk about the 12 tribes of Israel today. All of us Negroes, we are the 12 tribes of Israel. Our Father, our Redeemer, our Savior, the Holy One of Israel, Ahia, Asha, Ahia, changed Jacob's name to Israel. And Israel had 12 sons, which is us, the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the sons and daughters of the Most High. We are his children. He said it in Exodus 4.22. He told Pharaoh when we was in, in, when our ancestors was in Egyptian bondage before. He told Pharaoh, Israel is my son. My firstborn. We, the 12 tribes of Israel, are the sons and daughters of the Most High. Now, that idol that we were brought up in when we were in religions, and some of you still are in religions, and you need to get out of them very quick, that idol, J-E-S-U-S, don't have anything to do with us. First of all, J-E-S-U-S, the proper way to pronounce that is Jesus, and that's Mexican. That is not Hebrew, okay? Also, you go and look at the 1611 King James Bible, and it's the I, I-E-S-U-S. Either way, it doesn't have anything to do with us. He is not a part of our family. He is not our father's child. We are. We are. He's a thief. He's the thief. Trying to steal our identity and want to steal our place. But he's, he can't steal our place because we are the sons and daughters of the Most High. The Most High never said that anyone else was his children but us. Go back and read your Old Testament. Also, I want to say. We, the 12 tribes of Israel, we are in covenant with our Heavenly Father, the Most High, the Holy One of Israel, forever. We're in covenant with Him. We shall worship Him and Him alone. Go straight to Him, no chaser. We don't we got no business putting no one before Him. That's idol worship. And some of you uh, Hebrews, yeah, you're woke. You, you, a little bit, but you're still asleep. So you're not woke. You got to be woke all the way. And when you woke all the way, you worship no one but the most high. No one but the most high. Okay? You don't worship no one but him. That idol that we was poked, that was shoved down our throat. You don't worship him. You don't put him in front of the most high. He don't have anything to do with us. And also... We have our brothers making up these fake Hebrew names. You st it's still the same idol. All you did was made up a fake Hebrew name and think it's okay. And it's not. It's still idolatry. 
We shall worship no one but the Holy One of Israel. And he alone should be praised. And he is our only redeemer. No one died for our sins. We were lied to. But I know one thing. If some of my Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters don't come out of those religions and start worshiping those idols, even the ones with a Hebrew name, you're going to die for your own sin. That's who's going to die. You are. Sure is. Because it's adultery. That's the reason that our father, the Holy One of Israel, Ahiah Ashar Ahiah, put us out of our homeland. Had we worshipped worshipped him, like he said, he said, you are my chosen ones. I chose you. You didn't choose me. I am your Elohim. The Most High is our Elohim. And he told us specifically, don't go nowhere near the Gentiles. So for those uh, groups that's calling themselves Hebrew Israelites, and they're teaching that New Testament, that's false. That's false doctrine. The Most High is not going to graft in no one. He told us specifically, don't go nowhere near the Gentiles, nor serve their God. And so if you steady doing that, and they, a lot of you are, and y'all are going to be in a lot of trouble. You better be rooted and grounded in worshiping the most high. Keep it simple. It's simple. Worship the most high. That's it. Only he is our savior. Besides him, there is no other. There is no other. That's Isaiah 43. Some of these uh, groups are, uh, they call themselves Hebrews, but they're teaching everything but to worship the Most High. They still have that idol in their mouth. They're going to be in a world of trouble. So for you new babes in this walk, I just wanted to get straight to the point. You all repent. Don't worship no one but the most high himself. Go straight to him. You pray to him and you talk to him daily and you get in that word for yourself. You read that Old Testament. You leave that book of Mormons alone. You leave that Apocrypha alone. You leave that New Testament alone. Because that don't have anything. That's not where you where, where we are right now. Now, our 400 years of punishment was just up in August. The Most High is coming to get us at any moment. So you better repent. For worshiping other people. God, that's if you say, if if you're sorry, if you're not sorry, and you want to keep doing it. Well, don't. But this is it. We're going home and we're not going to no one's heaven. You go back and you read that New Testament. The most high is fulfilling his prophecy. He took us out of our homeland. Because we had disobeyed him by worshiping other gods. And following those Gentiles, mixing with them. We don't got no business mixing with no Gentiles. The Gentiles are not a part of us. They will not be grafted in. If anyone, any, if any Gentile make it in, in the kingdom of the Most High, that's soon to come. And I mean soon and very soon. They're going to be our slaves. That's what they're going to be. They're not going to be any part of the 12 tribe of Israel. Yeah, because we are a family. We are a bloodline. Not a religion. Okay? We're not a religion. So let's get that straight. I see some of these brothers baptizing people. Y'all still in Christianity. You still in religions. And and, and, and they're misleading people. And they're going to be in a world of trouble. And you yourself is going to be in a world of trouble. Because your life is in your hand. You're an adult. 
You got 24 hours in a day. You better use it wisely to save your soul because this world is through. At any moment, the Most High is coming to get us. He's going to gather us, the 12 tribes of Israel, us so-called Negroes, us so-called coloreds. Those are bywords and proverbs that we was going to be called by because we was disobeyed. We had disobeyed the Most High. But we are the 12 tribe of Israel from Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, because there are no J's in the Hebrew alphabet. So that's why I'm saying Jerusalem. Okay, we're going back home. He's going to fulfill his prophecy. He said after 400 years, then he's going to come get us. And our 400 years of punishment was up on August of this year, August 2019. Today is what, November the 5th? So at any moment, he's coming to get us. And I believe that he's going to, we're going to be gone by the end of December because he said 400 years. He didn't say 401. And he's true to his word. Shalom.